Oh, my real lemon is Ronda Rousey. Come on. Like, I don't want to talk about this girl every single week, but unfortunately, she just keeps saying dumb stuff and I have to keep talking about her. So we're going to. Uh, power to her for trying to get us to buy that book, okay? Because you assume that this is why she's doing it. But she doesn't know when to stop. It's reminding me a lot of Matt Riddle, where it's like someone needs to duct tape your mouth, bro. Like, stop talking. Like, just stop saying these things. Rhonda just doesn't know how to stop. Because the latest thing that has come out now is that she's referred to WWE as a minimum effort, lazy ass shit show. That's what she's saying. And I really do think that she's. I don't know that she really feels this way about WWE as a whole. Like, I really don't think she feels that way. I think that she has some bitter feelings, obviously. It's probably more pointed to certain people, and that's why she's acting this way. Um, but I think that she knows that's a lie. You're just trying yeah, to stir up drama. Recently? Girl, you, you had nothing going on for you post- UFC like she was still Ronda Rousey but like the end of her career in UFC was not good because she was getting knocked out and stuff so like people weren't thinking about her in the same way it's like Conor McGregor is great but like his last fight wasn't so people have that memory of him you know what I mean so WWE brought you in paid you millions of dollars gave you multiple women's championships gave you Multiple. multiple Prime time matches at WrestleMania. Okay. Like you had merch. You were advertised up the yin yang. Like you were a front page face in the women's division in WWE. Like they treated her like the superstar that she wanted to be treated as and the way that, you know, at the time, especially that she was. And so to me, it's just odd to hear her go on and on and on and on about how terrible it was and i'm like but that's not true you know like that was not your experience just because a few instant instant incidents sorry mm -hmm. happened yeah, yeah. or something that does not dictate your entire however many years you were there like you can't say you know one thing happens to you on friday and you say you had a terrible week you know what i mean like that's not how it works yeah so um, I think, yeah, this is just her getting very defensive. That's kind of how it feels because of the way that the internet is is uh, reacting to her and the things that they've been saying to her about her WWE run. And so this is her just like firing that venom back at them. Mm -hmm. um, but she can guarantee you ain't coming back. You know what I mean? This isn't just like, oh, CM yeah, Punk yeah. has some things to say, whatever. He had already been around for however many years at that point. Like, they're going to figure yeah, that it's out. Different too. Rhonda, this isn't like black and white, like, and it's nonstop. So it's like, it's just getting to a point where it's ridiculous, honestly. It's like embarrassing. It is getting, it is getting pretty ridiculous, especially and, because the product now is so much better. Well, and I just saw it in the chat too. The irony in all of this is how much of a shit show could it be when you were part of the reason of it being a shit show? You said you didn't get enough practice time. Why weren't you doing it on your own time then? Why didn't you put up a ring like other people do in their backyard? If Morgan Why literally put a ring. I know. Why weren't you specifically seeking out the performance center? Like you could have been going there. Why weren't you? Or why weren't you getting better in the ring at all? Why weren't you getting better on the in, on the mic at all? Like you weren't putting in the work that you needed to do. You thought you could just come in there and be Ronda Rousey and that was going to be enough. But it's like, but that's not what wrestling is. It's an entertainment no. show at the end of the day. So you can't just come in there and be like, I'm Ronda. I'm great. And people are just going to jump on it and be like, yeah, sure. Okay. No, because then if you sound like you're rehearsing your lines as you're saying them on live TV, or you can't do three simple wrestling moves to actually like not make me physically cringe when I have to watch you wrestle in a match, like that's, that's a you problem. That's not a problem that you can put on anybody else. That's on you. It's like Eva Marie trying to blame other people for why she sucks so bad. No, girl, oh, you God, didn't want to put the time in. You know what I no, mean? Like you wanted to just take pictures. Yeah, you you wanted to what be famous. You wanted to be in Maxim and be famous for being hot. Like that's what you wanted, and she accomplished okay. that. But like people do it. Yeah, it's know, just like... it's ridiculous. So.